Live, still live at Xfinity Center, it's Damon Evans, it's Bruce Posner, I'm Wayne Viner. Uh, you've talked a lot about building this one Maryland, this future. You got two big pieces today. Uh, some might say that performance center that you got is as big a deal as getting a new coach. What do you say? It is. It's significant for us. It's long overdue here at the University of Maryland. Our student athletes deserve it in men's and women's basketball. It's a resource that is crucial for our ultimate success, and that's something I wanted to provide them. David, what, what finally put you over the edge to go with Kevin Willard? We know you had the search committee, but it seems like from day one, it was Kevin Willard with you. You know what? I had Kevin Willard at the top of my list from day one, and, and I'm serious about that. I think when you do a search, you look across the country and you scour the country, but we had so much runway, it gave me a lot of time to look at analytics, look at data, to talk about to people in the country, to watch his games and watch his team play and the grittiness. And uh, he just always was there, and I was excited that we were able to come to an agreement. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Did you speak with him a lot about the, uh, there's pressure on him right away. You know that. All right. To, first of all, to get a team together for next year and the performance that's needed after, you know, what, what went on. Does, do you feel he fully understands that and does he welcome it? He, he embraces the challenge like I do. We talked about the high expectations that our fan base has here. I wanted someone who wasn't afraid of those expectations, who, who wanted to run straight into them and say, hey, you know what, we're going to take them on and we're going to meet those expectations. And that's what excited me about him, and I like that challenge. You know, I, I, in a second, Wayne, I, I know from what I heard and from what you've told me, you kind of pushed the previous coach to do a, a stronger non-conference schedule. This guy, you won't have to push him, will you? That's what I like. If you take a look at his schedule this year, when I ran the data and I said this to you guys, he beat, uh, what do we say in the Associated Press Top 25? 28 teams. This year he played against number four Michigan at, and Michigan. at Michigan and beat them. He played Ohio State, lost. Played number six Texas and beat them. Played Rutgers and beat them. The list goes on and on and on. He's not afraid to schedule. The fan base opponents. needs out. You know that, well, David. Uh, they need that interchange and if you win a few and lose a few it's not a big deal i know they need it and i need it too because i love good competition <laughs> Wayne, what was it about today that brought kevin plank a football guy out to a basketball game a basketball event how'd you pull that off well you know what i had an opportunity to talk to kevin plank about this search and uh i really appreciate all that he does for our institution and for him to be here today uh for such a significant uh part in our history means a lot and kevin just loves maryland he loves football, but he loves Maryland as a whole. Yeah, yes, he does. Yes, we all do. Thanks for being on. Thanks, great guys. hire. Appreciate great you job, guys. David. Thanks, great guys. job. All Thank right. You. We'll see you soon, okay? okay.